Hi everybody and welcome to Painting Your Prayers with Pastor Sue. My name is Sue Trowbridge and I've been an open and affirming United Methodist pastor for 25 years. Today I'm going to be talking about bringing your work to a conclusion. This is a painted prayer that I did about um, getting together uh, uh, after the pandemic. Um, or kind of during the pandemic. And you can kind of see in these uh, folds that I painted that there's some anxiety in their faces. And um, I painted it when we were getting back together with um, our art class at the Art Center of Battle Creek. I had already painted the background. Uh, I had painted the sky and the ground and then I put the clouds in and I put the, the grass in and I painted the tree. And then when I got to the art center, I used a photograph I had taken of some um, horse foals and I painted the, the foals in. So one of the questions that people ask me fairly often is, how do you know when a painting is finished? And there's two things I have to say to that. One is that we can never make our paintings perfect. We will always only be approximating the vision that we have in our head. And even the best painters in the world, like Da Vinci and Michelangelo, had that same problem because we're human beings. We can only approximate the vision in our head. The other thing I have to say about bringing your work to a conclusion is that I know that my painting is done if I can live with it. If there's nothing about it that is distracting me and making me feel like, oh, I still need to work out of that, and that I get joy out of looking at it, then I know that it's finished. Well, I thought this painting was finished because I had put a lot of time into it. I had painted three coats of paint on all three of these folds. And I work in oils, so I was able to blend from the light to the dark. And um, it took me a long time <coughs> to do that, and then I painted the outline afterwards. And I thought it was done. But I brought it home, and I found that there was something bothering me. And it was this ear right here. The thing that bothers me about it is that I think that it's too big. Um, it should be smaller than this ear because of perspective. It's further back and it's actually larger than that ear. And every time I look at it, my eye goes there. And so I was trying to figure out what to do about it because I couldn't really make this ear smaller because it would be too hard to fix up the background uh, if I were to make that ear smaller. So I wasn't really sure what to do about it. So we went away for the weekend. And then when I came back home, I was sitting on the couch looking at this. And God spoke to my mind and gave me the answer to my problem. And uh, what occurred to me was that instead of trying to make this ear smaller, I could make this ear bigger and make it into a donkey foal rather than a horse foal. And the same thing with these ears. Make this ear bigger than that one, and that ear bigger than that one. And so I was so pleased that I knew that God had spoken to my mind and uh, given me the problem, the, the solution to my problem. So the point I want to make today is that when you are painting your prayers, and you um, run into a problem, just pray about it and listen, and God will speak to your mind and help you to know what it is that you can do to make it um, good enough that you can bring it to a conclusion and live with it with joy. I hope you have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next week.